Hello and welcome to section 9.9 .9, where we discuss conditional probability, base formula, and in independent events. In this section we will introduce the notion of conditional probability and discuss Bayes' theorem and the kind of interesting results to which it leads. We'll talk also about the concept of independent events and give some applications. So we'll start with example number one where we introduce the idea of conditional probability. Example one says, imagine a couple with two children each of whom is equally likely to be a boy or a girl. So basically there's a 50-50 chance you can have a boy or a girl. Now suppose that you are given the information that one of the children is a boy. The question is, what's the probability that the other child is a boy? To help us get the probability here, we will pretty much think of the children as being pairs of letters. The first letter in the pair is going to represent the older child and the second letter in the pair is going to represent the younger child. So for example, when I write something like B, G, that means that the first child is a boy and the second child is a girl. And as you can see, this is all the different combinations of children that we can have. So the parents can have a boy or a girl on the first child. But then if they had a boy already, then the second child could be either a boy or a girl. And if the first child was a girl, then the second child could be either a boy or a girl again. And everything happens in equal likelihood. So that means all the children can be born with 50% chance. Now, in this question, we are assuming that one of the children is already a boy. So we can kind of think of the situation as narrowing down to these three pairs, boy-boy, boy-girl, or girl-boy. The question is, what's the probability that one of the children is already a boy and the second child is also a boy? So that means we can now focus our attention to the first pair, where the two children are both boys. Now every event in this dark gray circle, or in the pink underlined events, is equally likely. So therefore, to get the boy-boy situation, we need to take one out of the three events. So the answer is gonna be one out of three. So this means that the probability one child is a boy given the other child is also a boy is going to be one out of three. This is because the event where we have boy boy only happens one time and the events where there is at least one child that is a boy can happen in three different ways, either boy boy or boy girl or girl boy. So as you can see from the diagram here, it's very straightforward to find the probability. But what if I could not make the diagram? What if the diagram was difficult to make? Or what if I want another choice? What's the moral or what's the reasoning behind this? This is where we get this formula down here. This is where we're going to be using the formula to answer those kinds of questions. So the low slash that you're seeing right here between B slash A, that slash represents the word given. So when I read this, I'm reading the probability of event B given that A already happened. And so the question is, what's the answer to this one? How much is the probability of B given that A is already true? Well, according to the formula, it's the probability of A and B divided by the probability of A itself.